So you got an S-Class, but it won't unlock or lock with the key. You don't have a scan tool, well, you may not need one. I'll show you how to fix it, so in the end, it'll work. First, we check the key. If you push the button and the car does not flash the lights, if you open the door with the key, get in, start it, push the lock or unlock, and it does work, we're gonna focus on the key. If the car doesn't start and there's no lights on the inside, well then you're just gonna to wanna to have to check your battery. It could just be a dead battery. I removed the batteries from the key to show you how to check the batteries in the key. There's no batteries. If you push any button, there's a little red light right there that's not gonna light up. I've installed fresh batteries, so when you hold the key, see the flashing red light? You hold the button, it indicates the battery's okay. Now, the lights are working. Locks and unlocks, okay? If that didn't fix your issue, step two. The lights respond, but the lock is not moving. There's a fuse block almost nobody knows about. It's hiding down here on the floor behind the light. With the panel off, you wanna pull fuse 62. It's the first yellow one. In the, in the first yellow block, it's the first position. Pull the fuse, whether it's blown or not. Okay, if it's blown, replace the fuse. Uh, I'll show you what's next. If it's not blown, you can put it back in and see if the system functions. However, there's still gonna be a failure. Let me show you why. It's pretty easy to access. Remove the screw here. Two screws on the side panel, or the rear panel. One pop rivet hiding up here. Then you can flex the panel down. Pull it from the rear and angle it out. Hiding here in the corner is called the PSE. It stands for Pneumatic Systems Equipment. Inside here, there's a vacuum pump. The vacuum pump works the air pressure for the locks. This is gonna be the culprit almost every time in all of the W220 cars. Sometimes you can unplug the connector and check for corrosion in there. Because it sucks air in and out all the time, it builds up moisture on the circuit board. So I took apart the PSC and this is what I found. The ground wire is burnt to the motor. Look at that, rusted and everything. So. This is the culprit. Second problem you'll run into is these cars have a soft close where when you put it to the first click, the PSC is supposed to suck it into the second one, okay? So if you have uh, one door that doesn't work but the other ones work, or let's even say that the trunk lid won't pop open. What happens is once there's a fault code set in the PSC control module for a leak in the system, it cuts the operation to that circuit to prevent the pump from failure. If you have a fault code for every single circuit, that's a dead giveaway that the pump is bad. When you pull that fuse, it erases the codes in the module, and when you plug it back in, you'll hear the pump kick on to build some vacuum to test itself. Then the system will work again until it notices an issue again. That's how we diagnose it in the shop without a scanner. If you have a scanner, it'll have fault codes for which circuit is leaking. So let's do a quick recap. If you press the button on the key and nothing happens with the car, but you can start the car and the key or the locks work inside the car, focus on the key or the key battery. Either can be bad. If the car works, the car's fine. It's the PSC is fine and the reception's probably fine. It's probably a problem with the key. If you have more than one key, try both keys, right? If the key doesn't work, and the battery is good, and pushing the locks on the dash doesn't work at all, check the fuse in the underneath the back seat. If the fuse is blown, or if the fuse is good, pull it out, put a new one in it, see if the system functions. If it functions, what happens is you erased all the fault codes, and now the system's gonna work again. If the fuse blew, if it blew one time, the pump is bad. The PSC pump is gonna be bad. I have yet to see one where it blew the fuse, you put the fuse back in, and it works fine forever. There's a problem with the motor, just like you've seen. If the locks and everything work, but you have a problem with the soft close, same thing. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to pull the fuse to reset it, put it back in. If the system works again, you have a leak in that system. All the yellow lines lead to everything, whether it be the seats, the door closed feature, or the door locks. The whole system isn't working, you're looking at probably a pump failure. If just one section of the system isn't working, especially the trunk latch, you have an air leak there and you got to fix the leak, all right? So the next question is going to be, can I buy this used or should I buy it new? You can find these used. There's a part number on the PSC and any PSC for the CL and the S-Class will work. However, if you get it from a CL, uh, like a 215 body, you're going to have to have it coded, not programmed. Uh, there's a difference between coding and programming, but if you, if you plug it in, it will work, but it's going to set a fault code for the rear doors since there's only two doors in a CL. If you get it for an S-Class, it's going to work. Uh, it's going to work the trunk and everything. So... Um, they're, they're pretty much plug and play. If you do plug it in and it does have an issue, it might just be coding, which is basically hooking up a scanner and then checking settings 
to see if uh, if it's turned on or not for the specific car. That's that's all you have to worry about. So um, are there rebuild services? I don't know that yet. Uh, I, I found some motors on eBay that can be swapped in and swapped out. It all depends on what you can do or what your mechanic's willing to do. But basically, if you want it done correctly and without issues in the future, for the most part, you're just gonna wanna replace it and get it done because it's part of the locking system and the alarm system and the soft close system, the seat function system, the remote trunk release system. So it's a pretty important part. So uh, if this was helpful, please like it uh, so that other people can view my videos and see how it goes. I appreciate you guys' time. Uh, this is my first video where I didn't talk very much and I hope you guys appreciate that. Have a good night. Bye.